It's the late 1940s. The world is still trying to understand what just happened and where all its infrastructure went. In the Middle East. Israel has just sprung into existence like a fresh-faced newcomer on the world stage. But with neighbors who weren't exactly throwing a welcome party, Israel realized it needed a guardian angel. Or in this case, an intelligence agency. Thus, Mossad was born in 1949. Like a plot twist in a spy thriller. Genesis of Mossad. Back then, Mossad was like a startup with big dreams but a shoestring budget. They had spunk and determination, but they were also learning the spy game on the fly. Most of the first operatives consisted of Sabras, also known as the Jews, born in the British Mandate of Palestine, which became Israel after the Second World War. They were chosen due to their knowledge of the local cultures and way of life. They were able to blend seamlessly and go deep undercover without ever getting noticed. This was something the Jews fleeing from Europe after the end of the Holocaust were simply unable to do. At first, Mossad didn't have a lot of money or fancy tools. They were like beginners learning how to be spies. Yet through dedication and the recruitment of individuals with diverse skills, the agency began to take shape. Its initial focus was on counterintelligence and the collection of information concerning potential threats. Over time, Mossad's operations expanded in complexity and reach. Agents ventured into foreign territories, and their missions became exponentially more dangerous. In 1960 came their first big success. The agency managed to track down and capture Adolf Eichmann, an SS officer and one of the major organizers of the Holocaust. Today, Mossad's tasks include far more than traditional spy work. The agency's rapid technological advancement in the past two decades opened doors for venturing into cyber intelligence and psychological warfare. Still, their primary purpose remains the same, to defend Israel from foreign and domestic threats. Mossad's integral role in the Israeli Secret Service. In the realm of national security, Mossad stands as a stalwart guardian within the Israeli Secret Service. This remarkable agency, often working silently behind the scenes, is responsible for ensuring Israel's welfare and protection. Their craft involves skillfully assembling fragments of information from various sources to create a comprehensive picture. This valuable intelligence serves as a guiding compass for decision-makers, enabling them to make informed choices in safeguarding the nation. Mossad operates akin to the characters in espionage novels, a group of dedicated individuals executing intricate missions with precision and determination. Their endeavors span from covert actions that blend seamlessly with the surroundings to extracting critical insights from the most challenging circumstances. Their ability to operate discreetly is the hallmark of their effectiveness. With a keen focus on countering terrorism, Mossad remains at the forefront of protecting Israel from potential threats. Through vigilant monitoring and strategic intervention, they maintain an unwavering commitment to preemptively neutralize any dangers that may arise. Mossad's sphere of influence extends beyond traditional intelligence domains. They function as diplomatic observers meticulously gathering information about international developments and interactions. This knowledge equips Israel to navigate global affairs astutely. In the digital age, Mossad harnesses the power of technology, serving as the digital sentinels guarding against cyber threats. Their expertise not only includes street-level apprehensions, but also extends to safeguarding vital computer systems from malicious intrusions. A less visible yet equally vital aspect of Mossad's mission involves ensuring the safety of government officials. They operate as silent protectors, allowing these leaders to perform their duties without distraction or concern for their security. Moreover, 
Mossad is an integral part of the Israeli intelligence community, working hand-in-hand -hand with other agencies to address multifaceted security challenges. This collaborative approach enhances their effectiveness and underscores their commitment to preserving Israel's safety. Of course, such an important and highly dangerous structure can't operate without special units to carry out its missions. Katza. In its early days, Mossad relied heavily on US equipment to conduct its operations. They were quite close with the CIA, and some sources claim that the CIA were the first agents to train Mossad operatives. Both agencies have collaborated numerous times, but are no strangers to espionage when it comes to their partners. Since its inception, Mossad has gone a long way when it comes to professionals. Today, the Israeli intelligence agency employs more than 7,000 people, yet only 50 of them are covert operatives. These shadowy operatives have carved their place in history, etching tales of intrigue, audacity, and determination. The Katza, derived from the Hebrew word meaning sneak, embodies the epitome of secrecy and skill, working tirelessly to protect their nation's interests. Steeped in mystery, Katza agents operate behind a shroud of anonymity, their identities known only to a select few. Their training is rigorous and multifaceted, encompassing a range of disciplines such as intelligence analysis, combat tactics, and technological expertise. These agents are the embodiment of adaptability, seamlessly blending into various environments and successfully infiltrating networks that threaten their homeland. The Katza's exploits are whispered in intelligence circles, showcasing their unparalleled ability to extract critical information thwart adversaries and neutralize threats. From cyber warfare to field operations, their influence reverberates across the global stage. Yet, it is their unwavering dedication to safeguarding the nation that truly defines them. Still, Katza operatives rarely taint their hands in blood. They are far more valuable, retaining their positions deep undercover. For the executions, there is another unit within Mossad, called Kedon. Kedon. Nestled within the secretive echelons of the Mossad, the Kedon unit stands as a formidable force of covert operations and strategic execution. With a reputation shrouded in both awe and intrigue, the Kedon unit has earned its place as a vital instrument in safeguarding Israel's security and interests. Operating under the principle of, by way of deception, thou shalt do war, the Kedon unit specializes in intelligence gathering, targeted assassinations, and complex missions that require surgical precision. Its operatives, selected from elite military backgrounds, undergo rigorous training that honed their skills in combat, espionage, and psychological warfare. The Kedon unit's most notable attribute lies in its ability to execute high-stakes missions with remarkable finesse. Its agents are known for their adaptability, assuming multiple identities and blending seamlessly into diverse environments. These shadowy figures have orchestrated operations on foreign soil, leaving little trace of their presence while achieving significant outcomes. While the Kedon unit's actions often remain veiled in secrecy, its impact reverberates globally. The elimination of key threats and the acquisition of critical intelligence have positioned the unit as an invaluable asset in maintaining Israel's security. Recruitment and Training Unlike conventional selection processes, Mossad's recruitment embraces diversity, recognizing that effective field agents come in all forms – extroverts and introverts, the daring and the cautious. All are considered if they exhibit a core set of qualities suited to the agency's unconventional challenges. Mossad's evaluation involves a comprehensive psychological analysis, coupled with immersive simulations. Candidates are subject to in-depth questioning about their personal and professional histories, followed by exercises that mirror real-world scenarios, testing their adaptability, creativity, and truthfulness. 
This process culminates in a prestigious training course where candidates are further evaluated through a series of exercises designed to foster resilience and an ability to handle uncertainty. High levels of fear and stress are constants in a field agent's life, necessitating the ability to cope effectively. Candidates are subjected to anxiety-inducing situations, like performing tasks under assumed identities and enduring arrest scenarios to gauge their responses and ascertain their capacity to endure pressure. A pivotal facet of Mossad's training involves honing interpersonal skills and quick thinking. Field agents are tasked with convincing strangers to undertake unusual actions, mirroring the challenging nature of their operational environment. This capability is evaluated through exercises such as approaching a stranger at a bar, establishing rapport, and setting up further meetings, all while maintaining a fabricated identity. Integrity stands as a linchpin of Mossad's operations. While agents lead deceptive lives in their work, maintaining honesty within the agency is paramount. Candidates with dubious backgrounds are screened out through thorough background checks and psychological assessments. The balance between manipulation and trustworthiness is carefully maintained to prevent compromised missions and potential catastrophes. Mossad also addresses the mental toll of field work, acknowledging the isolation and loneliness that agents can experience during deployments. Psychological fortitude is a crucial attribute, with agents needing to sustain a strong sense of self during extended periods of solitude. Mossad's philosophy has evolved over time, shifting from recruiting individuals with specific skill sets to emphasizing qualities such as integrity and adaptability. The agency now prioritizes psychological resilience, as it believes it can teach the necessary technical skills to those with the intrinsic qualities required for success. In the ever-shifting landscape of global intelligence, Mossad's training and tactics stand as a testament to the agency's commitment to excellence. No wonder this formidable force has so many memorable missions in its relatively short existence. Hallmark Operations and Missions One of Mossad's most pivotal and emblematic missions was the relentless hunt for Adolf Eichmann, a top-ranking Nazi officer also known as the Architect of the Holocaust. After World War II, Eichmann managed to evade capture, finding refuge in South America. In 1960, Mossad agents in a covert operation codenamed Operation Finale successfully located and apprehended Eichmann in Buenos Aires, Argentina. They managed to capture, interrogate, and abduct him into Israel. They sedated Eichmann and brought him secretly on a plane to Israel, where he stood trial for his crimes. Eichmann received the first and last death penalty in Israel's history. Operation Damocles showcased Mossad's commitment to national security. During the Cold War, Mossad embarked on a campaign to thwart the development of weapons of mass destruction by hostile nations, particularly Egypt and its missile program. The operation involved targeted assassinations of German scientists and engineers working on Egypt's missile projects. By eliminating key personnel, Mossad significantly disrupted Egypt's progress in developing long-range missiles, thereby safeguarding Israel's security. Eli Cohen's remarkable story exemplifies Mossad's mastery of covert espionage. Eli Cohen, an Israeli agent, infiltrated the highest echelons of Syrian society in the early 1960s under the alias Kamel Iman Tabet. His intelligence-gathering efforts provided invaluable insights into Syria's military plans and alliances. Cohen's intelligence was pivotal in Israel's success in the Six-Day War of 1967. His capture and execution by the Syrians in 1965 underscored the risks and sacrifices associated with espionage. Amidst the Cold War's divide between the United States and the Soviet Union in the 1960s, Mossad, Israel's intelligence agency, embarked on a daring mission named Operation Diamond. At its core was the coveted prize, 
a MiG-21 fighter jet emblematic of advanced Soviet technology. Arab states aligned with the USSR possessed MiG-21s, piquing Israel's and the US's interests. Mossad's initial attempts to acquire one failed, but a tip-off in 1964 led them to Munir Redfa, a Maronite Christian pilot in the Iraqi Air Force who sought a new path due to disillusionment with his treatment. Negotiations ensued, culminating in an audacious plan. Redfa, after meticulous preparation, managed to convince ground crews to fill his fuel tanks to the brim against regulations. Taking off from Iraq on August 16, 1966, he zigzagged 900 kilometers to Israel, evading enemy radars. Simultaneously, Mossad teams extracted Redfa's family members from Iraq to ensure their safety. The successful landing of the MiG-21 in Israel marked a significant achievement, symbolized by the designation 007, paying homage to James Bond. However, Mossad's most well-known operation remains Operation Wrath of God. In response to the 1972 Munich Olympics massacre by Palestinian terrorists, Mossad initiated a campaign to target those responsible for planning and executing the attack. The operation saw Mossad agents track down and eliminate individuals linked to the attack, sending a clear message that Israel would not tolerate acts of terrorism. While controversial, this operation underscored Mossad's resolve to protect Israeli lives and deter further attacks. Mossad's assassination of Imad Mugnier, a high-ranking Hezbollah operative, demonstrated the agency's ability to neutralize threats posed by terrorist organizations. Mugnier was responsible for numerous deadly attacks against Israel. In 2008, he was killed in a car bombing in Damascus, Syria, an operation widely attributed to Mossad. This mission showcased the agency's persistence in targeting individuals deemed a threat to Israel's security. In recent years, Mossad's involvement in the targeted killing of Iranian nuclear physicists has drawn international attention. These covert operations aimed at disrupting Iran's nuclear program, exemplifying Mossad's role in countering existential threats to Israel's security through strategic and surgical actions. So, if you have any doubts about whether you should become one of Mossad's enemies, now you have your answer. Messing around with the world's deadliest intelligence agency will lead to a quick meeting with the Kedon unit. And let's say if you are not part of one of the world's most dangerous special military units, you have no chance of surviving. Are you interested in joining one of them? Here's a video on what you must go through to become part of the deadliest special forces in the world.